Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's Easter Monday for us here in Canada. Um, as you know, this week I wasn't feeling well, so on the weekend Steve uh, went vintage shopping for me. So he got quite a few nice pieces and I will show them to you. Okay, now we're going to start out with number one, bag one. This is an Avon, a vintage Avon gold white enamel square pendant necklace. And this one I'm asking 20. It has a really nice chain on it. And it has the um, round spring clasp. And then it has the really nice tassel. And this is white enamel. And that's what that looks like. I or wore black so that you could see better. Um, the pieces show up better. So that's what that one looks like. So that's bag one. Okay, bag two is a gold, a vintage gold tone leaf <clears throat> and colored stone necklace. This one I'm asking 25. And this is a very old piece. Um, I was trying to date it as best I could, and I believe it's the um, 19, late 1920s, 1930s. And this is what it looks like. It has the beautiful stones in there. Gorgeous. And they are very nicely set. I did um, clean them with just alcohol and a Q-tip. I didn't want to put this in the sterling cleaner. Um, like I said, it is gold. This is what the back looks like. You can see the age. And then the clasp has the um, shepherd's hook. And then it, sorry about my nails, the two of them are broke. Um, yeah, it has the shepherd's clasp like this, and I am very surprised that this is not marked. And that's what that one looks like, and it's so very pretty. And that's what that one looks like. I'll try and show these, and they have the little pearl on. Each pearl is still on there. So it's in excellent condition. Okay, and then bag three is the Lucite off-white um, necklace. Um, kind of looks like like a off-white, so it looks like a little bit of a pearl. I don't know how to describe it. I'll just show it to you. And the the um, the Lucite beads are very very soft. And that's what that one looks like. And this one is in excellent condition. And as you can see, each stone, um, has, it, it's attached with, um, how am I going to say that? It's double knotted is what it is. Which is very, um, when you're looking for vintage jewelry, that nail's showing. <laughs> when you're looking for vintage jewelry, this is what you want to look for whenever you're looking for beaded things that are um, of age, you're going to see the, the knots in each single bead. And this is the clasp. And that's what that one looks like. And for that one I wanted 15. And bag 4 is a forest green um, bead in a vintage gold tone setting with colorful accent beads and long gold chain. Um, this one is very pretty. This one has a lot of age. Uh, it, it's quite old. That's what that one looks like. has all the different colored beads here. And then it has a very, I hope you can see that, I'm going to try and move it around. It's very dark green, forest green. And then that's what the back looks like. And then it has a really long chain. 
and I'll put this one on so that you can see what it looks like. So it goes down to here. Very long chain. I would say this is probably the 1950s, 1960s. And for that one I wanted 25. Okay, number five is a multi-white beaded necklace with blue and gold tone accent beads. This is very pretty. This is the clasp. You have the spring clasp. And then the beads are on these are just gorgeous. And then you have these um, kind of um, royal, not royal, royal blue, navy blue beads. And this one, it's, it's so beautiful. And it's got the weight to it, so it's very well made. It's very pretty. Um, and that one I wanted 20. Okay, bag six. Um, this piece that I'm going to show you is quite old. I would date it 1920s. Um, it's, uh, full, it's full pearls um, with um, gold beads and black beads. And there is age to this, you guys, of course, from, you know, that long ago. You're going to see some age to it, but it has some gold beads. It has some black beads. And then it has the shepherd's clasp. This is a very old piece. Now there was, I can see that there was a, another row of beads, but over the years um, it must have fallen off, but it still makes a very pretty necklace. And that's what that one looks like. And for that one, I wanted 20. Okay, number seven. These, this color is gorgeous. So hard not to keep these pieces. <laughs> um, this is a three-strand um, pearl necklace, faux pearl. And it has the beautiful... Um, like the sea blue and then it has the nice green beads that's what it looks like I'm going to try and get those beads up as close as I can so you can see the colors it's just beautiful gorgeous and that's what that one would look like and it also has a um, shepherd's clasp on it uh, did this one have I'll check and see. I don't think it did, but no. And for this one, I wanted 20. It's very pretty, you guys. He really got some good picks. He did. Wait till you see the other things. They're so old and very different. Um, bag eight, this, this is exquisite. It's just beautiful. Um, it's an off-white enamel, um, flower pin. Um, it has five rhinestones in the middle. It's just beautiful. I'm going to try and turn this a little bit to see if the light, can you see how beautiful that is? Not a scratch on that pin. And it has all of the stones in the middle. And then at the back, you can, it, there's two places you can use it to um, put a necklace through it, a nice gold necklace or a pin. 
This is a gorgeous piece. I just love it. It's hard to find them with all the stone or no scratches on the um, enamel. It's just beautiful. And for that one, I wanted 25. And I didn't clean any of this jewelry. Um, tell you the truth, I just went over it with a little bit of alcohol and a cotton uh, swab because I do not want to touch. You'll see when I show you the older pieces, I didn't want to touch them. Okay, uh, bag number nine. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a, um, again, another long uh, beaded necklace. It has the gorgeous um, lavender beads. They're lavender. This is gray. Then you have the off-white here and the gold. Uh, those are gold. Just a second. Make sure they're gold. No, they're silver. I can't tell. No, gold. That's gold little beads in the middle. And it's beautiful. That lavender color, look at the lavender in there. That's so beautiful. And I'll just show you what that looks like. And that's what that one looks like. Let me turn this, see if it's better. It's very comfortable. And for that one, um, for that one I wanted 20. Okay, bag 10. This is really pretty. Um, this is a vintage gold tone pin. Um, it has green glass bead in the middle and um, it has the glass and bead chain drop um, with the faux pearl. And it's lovely. Can you see that green? And this is a gold pin. Has all of the chains. And I'm asking 15 for that one. Okay, this is my favorite. Well, there's two of them that are my favorite. <laughs> Um, hard to part with because they're so different. This, I believe, would be 1920s. It's a Christmas pin and it has the Christmas angel and the snowman and then it has the green the green gem and the red gem. Now, I believe these are real stones just because when I took my um, uh, jeweler's loop uh, they're so well set in there, they would be just like um, in a ring, if you would have a ring set in that. But I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to polish it, nothing. I left it just the way it was. Um, there's the little angel, and there is the little um, snowman. And I don't, I don't believe that this, um, it might be, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is the original little thing that goes on there, if there was something else. I imagine something else. But, um, you know, when you're talking about the 1920s, this has been passed down. And um, the clasp at the back would have been a very old clasp. It wouldn't have been the turning one. As you can see, it's been replaced. Um, it would have been one like this. This is my grandmother's. And this is how I kind of know the era because the pins at the back were different. Now the pins at the back were made like this when they first started making brooches and this would open but I have it completely closed so the pin doesn't open because I don't use it. This is just my grandma's and um, yeah so that's the old old clasps and then after those it came out with like a double almost looks like it's called a bobby pin clasp or not a bobby pin a safety pin clasp and then they came out with these clasps. And it is a, um, 
a locket. You can see the age. It's beautiful. I have a hard time to part with it because it is so different. You will never, ever see that. And for that one, I want... Um, where's my price on it? 45 12 is a, um, this is a Dove, I believe, I looked up close again with my, um, my loop, and I believe it's a Dove uh, holding an olive leaf branch, and, um, it's a gold tone bracelet, this is how the back is made, this is very old, um, you can see the, the bird on there, the Dove, this is the very old, fashion class but had nice workmanship in here and again I did not put this through the cleaner it's just beautiful and it's heavy like you've got you've got that heaviness to it it's not um, it's not a, uh, how would I say that, junk metal. It's a very good, um, probably, I would say, not copper, but, well, yeah. I, I would think there would be copper and rhodium plate in there. But it's beautiful. I'll try and show you up close the bird. I believe it is a dove with the olive branch. At first I thought it was um, those little, um, what do you call them, <sighs> hummingbirds. I thought it was that, but it's not. And for this one I want 40. Okay, the last bag is, what, how many minutes? I'm at 17. The last bag I have is a vintage, uh, this would be probably... 1930s, 1940s. This is called milk, milk glass. Um, and these are earrings and they are marked continental. And that's what they look like. They're a beautiful milk stone, soft, soft stone, very well made. And they are put in there with the, um, I have no brains today, I swear to God. You're all yelling at me. I know it. <laughs> um, the setting. It just has a really good setting. Prong setting. And the, the, the white doesn't give it. It doesn't uh, show how shiny that is. And then that's what the back looks like. And there's the signature continental on it. And it's really hard to find these with all of the stones in them. Um, there was a, I believe, a bracelet or a pin. I think it was a pin that went with this. Um, I may still be getting it. The gentleman said that he does have the stone um, that went with it. This one I'm asking. These are masking 25. And I can just put it on the ear to show you I have some on already, but that's what they look like. They're just beautiful. And, uh, yeah, so I may be able to get the brooch for that as well. So that's the finds that Steve found this weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Um, I also have this bag. It has the um, rope, um, black rope shoulder. Um, and then it has the, uh, you, the handle that you can just um, hold it with your hands and that's what it looks like it has all uh, lace over top of this gray material the sides look like that with the silver uh, hardware and then this is what the inside looks like it's so pretty and delicate 
it's beautiful. And for this one, I'm going to ask 25 and um, if you could pay the shipping, if you're interested in it. And that's what the bottom looks like, and it's all in perfect condition. Okay, um, so that is it for this weekend's find. I will be going out this week and trying to look for more. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better with this cold. And then I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite pieces that um, I've collected. Um, there's only a few, but I can't part with them. I just, I love them. Anyway, you guys, I will get this video up, and if you're interested in anything, please let me know via Facebook me, or the easiest way is to get on my personal Facebook, and that way you can get a hold of me right away. I hear that bing go off. Um, it. YouTube is not showing me how many messages I have underneath that little bell. Um, I have to click on it and see, or I have to go to comments or messages. Um, some of my messages are going to spam, so I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But your best bet is to try and get a hold of, is to get a hold of me on my personal Facebook. Most of you are already um, friended me, so that's the best way to do it. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Take care. Bye bye.